morning it is the weekend baby and guess what your girl didn't do nothing yesterday so today is sunday and i'm going to make a little quick run to the store because i need to get some stuff i need to pick up a little more stuff for dinner today because i'm cooking and um i want to stop at at home to get some bottles so yeah that's all i have planned for today i also need i have a to-do list that i haven't done that i need to go through and get some of those things completed so that's where i am headed off to today so we made it to we're going it at home to look to see if we can find some um bottles to put my juice in so let's see what they have in here No. You are ready for Halloween. They did not have what I was looking for in home goods, so I made it home. We got the Saints game on TV here in Memphis, Tennessee. The Eagles thought they was going to come to our town and disrespect us and have a second line. They had a big old second line. What a float, my mama said. And the score is they haven't even scored yet. And I think this is the third quarter. So what, what you think of that? So I already started cooking my dinner. And um, we're gonna do some salad jars. I'm gonna prep some salad jars for this week. And also I'm going to be juicing. So I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna put in my salad jars as well as when I get to start juicing, I'll show you the items when I start the juicing. So I'm gonna make two types of juice today. With the mason jars, I think I only get like one and a half, which is fine. So, I'm going to finish my dinner for Sunday and then I'm going to get ready to do the juice and that way the kitchen will be clean and I need to, I really need to, I've been having a to-do list, a to-do list for, for this month and I do need to clean out some storage on my computer and put them to my hard drive, different things I want to put on a hard drive to free up some space in the computer. So. That's what we're going to be doing for the rest of the day. because it saves me time when I'm working. So I have something quick to eat and also it is healthy. So I already have some chopped up tomatoes, cherry tomatoes. I like the artichoke hearts. And this is my anti-cancer vinaigrette. It's a curry vinaigrette. I have a short video on my channel that shows how I make this. This is so good. So I made, I pre-made that already. And this is my salad blend that we picked up because you know, you are trying to eat healthy. So I'm just gonna go ahead on and wash this, wash some of it off because I don't know how many jars I'll be making right now. So put some in my colander.
and y'all got six first. But it's still the fourth quarter. So come on, Saints. I'm not a Saints fan, by the way. I don't know what kind of fan I am. Of juice we'll be making today we have a we're going to do an apple an apple and pineapple juice with some ginger for digesting also we're going to do a celery we're going to do a celery pineapple and kiwi juice and i'm going to add a little ginger to it i tried the i did the celery and the kiwi juice and a pineapple before it was real good it's good for hydration but when you add the ginger it aids in digestion so your girl need to lose some weight so your girl gonna try this juice and see how i like it. i could drink this in the morning and get started with my day so let's get started with the juicing this is the juicer i have one did purchase me this juicer this is one off of amazon I'm not sure of the the name of it, but this was a Christmas gift. It's, e it's, it's easy to put together. It has a small top. It has the sprout. It comes with all the compartments. I have the pusher. I have the cleaner to clean it when I finish. I also have the two containers. One is for the juice and one is for the pulp. So let's get started. Okay, so here's our setup for our juicing. We have our cup that our juice is gonna flow to. We're gonna have our pulp container, our pulp container. So I have my celery cut. I have my pineapple chunks. I have my kiwi and I have my apples. And I have a small piece of ginger. I didn't want a big piece of ginger, so I got a small piece of ginger. So each one has like this much in it. With our kiwi, pineapple, and kiwi, pineapple, and celery juice. like to mix it up so when it goes into my container, it won't be where I have to mix it, if that makes any sense. See my container, my juicing section is getting full, so I'm going to be getting ready to 
empty that in a few. Go ahead. majority of that pineapple pineapples so you could use like if you want to use the can of pineapples you can use one can of pineapple I use five kiwis as I said before and two and a half stalks of celery with a pinch of ginger ginger and for the apple juice I use the little small size of fresh fruit fresh um, pineapples with two granny smith apples cut them up and I use a pinch of ginger so yeah, these are my juices for the week. Have you tried juicing before? Leave me a comment in the comment box below and let me know what, what some of your favorite juice concoctions are. And yeah, the only thing that I hate is washing this day. Good morning. It is Monday, so I decided to put this into my vlog for this weekend. I am on my way today to to see my hematologist, oncologist, which is the cancer doctor. I'm on my way to see him today. I'm going on my way to see one of them, my nurse practitioner, rather. See him today about um, my thyroid issue. So I'm hoping the medication is working. Um, I do have a little energy. The only way, the only reason why I have the energy is because I take vitamins every day to help me have a little boost. So we're gonna see what he says. I hope everything goes well. I hope everything is well. And we'll go from there. So, oh, but let me tell you about the Saints yesterday. Yeah, I was talking all my stuff. Yes, I was. I surely was. But you know, that's what we do. But um, they didn't lose bad. You know, we didn't get blow out, didn't get blown out inside our house. Wish that happened. Well, um, I guess everything went fine. They did the blood work. I'm waiting for um, the, blood, the lab test to come back to see how my thyroid levels are. He's gonna let me know, but if the thyroids are still high, they're going to increase the medication again, which um, I guess is fine. I'm not being.